and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geek score kicks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is remove k digits which is a medium level problem and it's a very good good level problem as well okay and a common interview problem so if you will see the company tax in microsoft it's asked okay all right so uh, let's find out what we will be what we will be given in this problem and what we have to do so we will be given an string s and integer k so string s it will be containing the numbers okay uh, s means non negative integer but it will be represented as a string so 149811 in this way and we will be given a k equal to 3 so now what we have to do we have to remove any three digits any k digits any k digits from this string okay so that the new number is the smallest possible what does this mean new number is the smallest possible it means key look 149811 so here if i will remove this 811 so the new number will be what 149 if i will remove let's say 4 i remove 9 let's say and then i remove this one so it will be what 181 but if we remove 14498 so it will be 111 so i if i will if we will try to find out all the cases so we can get that this 111 is the smallest number possible okay so we have to remove how many digits k equal to 3 3 digits not less than 3 not greater than 3 okay and one more thing is okay we cannot have the leading zeros when we will be returning so if you will see this case 1002991 so if i will remove 3 digits so my new number will be can become something like uh, we can say that so i will move 1 and 9 eight. so my new number will be 0021 my new number will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 so we will be removing this uh, preceding zero so the correct answer will be 21 which we have to return as a string okay i think the problem statement will be crystal clear to you and as usual i have written something for you in notes so now let's jump on to the notes section for it okay okay so remove k digits what approach we will be going to do look so here let's say we have a number 9118192 and we have to remove k equal to two, two digits from it okay so which two digits we can try to remove if i will remove this nine and this nine suppose let's say you can say that these are the two maximum ones so if i will remove them my new number will be one one 812 okay all right what if i remove this 8 and this 9 if you want this 8 and this 9 so in that case my new number will be 9 1 1 1 2 okay 9 1 1 1 2 now what if i remove this 9 and this 8 so my new number will be 1 1 1 9 2 okay and if uh, you will check that find out that okay this is the smallest number possible which we can make by removing two digits okay so what approach we can what pattern we can see here so look if at any point of time suppose i'm at this one so i will be using a stack data structure first of all okay and i find out that oh the nine which is before this one the nine which is before this one into the stack it's greater so if we find out a number which is less than the stack dot peak stack dot peak means the uh, topmost element into the stack so i will do the stack dot pop so now nine will be removed from the stack so it will be something like now stack will be containing one okay I, I, I will put this one now again when i will come here at one i will see that no stack dot peak is not greater so i again i will put this one okay now again i will when i will get eight i will again put into the stack something like this but now again i got one now again i got one so at that time i will check if a stack dot peak is greater than one yeah it is greater than one so i will pop this out i will remove this eight okay then again i will put this one as well so similarly i will put this nine and similarly i will put this two so why will i not remove this nine here because k equal to two and i've already removed this two digits so my new number will be one 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 nine two okay all right so if you will check with the many any number of examples you will find out that this approach is working okay so i've written some approach for you as well you can see trans traverse and array and if k is greater than 0 and stack.p is greater than current character current character so i will do stack.p and after that i will be putting that current character into the stack as well and you can add some necessary validations here as well so this is going to be my approach i have already explained this you can uh, verify this with many number of examples okay but there are few edge cases as well first edge case is if k is equal to 0 even after traversing so look for this 91189 so what i will do first of all i will put 9 into the stack after that i get 1 so when i will get 1 i will see that stack dot peak is greater than current character so i will pop this out so now 9 is removed i will put 1 after that again 1 now you will see that k is 1 remaining here okay because one character i've popped out now again 8 again 9 so this condition this condition will not become true at any point so now after traversing only one character is still left to remove so which one i will do? remove i will remove the last i can look suppose if the k is 3 which is remaining so i will pop the three top characters from the stack okay because if there is something smaller because if something was like this 11181 one, 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 so 
In that case, eight will be removed. But I didn't get it. It means we have to remove the last character. So I will remove the last character. Okay. So we can get something like one one eight. All right. One edge case is there. This I think it's sorted. The next edge case, which I already explained into the, uh, which was also the edge case and uh, sample test case as well. So here one zero zero k equal to three. So I will remove what? I will remove this one. And after that, what I will remove? I will remove this nine. And I will remove this nine. So now the new number, the minimum number will be zero zero two one. So, but we cannot have the leading zeros. So we will remove this to zero as well. Now we will be returning to one. Okay. So yeah, that's it. I think the problem approach is very clear. And if you have got this, please don't forget to subscribe the channel because it will motivate me a lot. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Now let's jump on to the code section for it and write the code. Okay. Okay. All right. So first of all, let's declare the h tag data structure h tag integer st. Let's name it st. Uh, this will be like this new stack. And guys, please let me know if you like this live coding feature or you want me to write the code already and then explain i think this live coding helps you to understand a lot so i will be like uh, taking one index i equal to zero and i will do what while i is less than s dot length okay all right and after that look i have already explained you one condition which was while k is greater than zero and then uh, let's say ht dot peak is greater than ht dot peak is greater than what s dot Carrot i okay and before that before this st dot p we have to check whether stack is not empty so and then not st dot is empty and then this okay it's something like in this way all right so if all these three conditions are coming true i will do the pop so st dot pop and i will do what k minus minus because now one character less we have to do, uh, remove after that we will be putting the pushing the current character that is s dot carrot i Okay, and I will increase my i plus plus. Okay, so this is what we will be doing, and that's it. Okay, and now when edge case which we discussed, like after the whole traversal, is still, is still what's happening? Is still my k is greater than zero, so I will pop it, uh, pop the top characters. So while k is greater than zero, I will do what? St dot pop. Okay, and I can do something like k minus minus here as well. All right. Now after that we will be building our answer string. So if you know string builder, it's great. So basically, what's the difference between string builder and string? String is immutable. Means if I will be doing any changes into the string, it will be creating a new string. But in string builder, it's not the case. We can append something into the same string. Okay. So it's very uh, great. Okay. All right. So while not st dot is empty. Okay. So look. Uh, what we what if for this case uh, we have to be we have to get the reverse of the string okay so one thing is i will get the string builder and then reverse it another thing is i will insert the current character into the zero index so for that i can use uh, this st dot pop at zero index i will be popping the next character i think this this thing will be clear this thing will be clear what why we are doing this okay because this type will be returning as a reverse so either we, we first of all append it and then reverse either we can append the new character at zero index okay so after this only one edge case is remaining which we discussed that what about the leading zeros okay so for that i will be doing something like sb dot length what if all the characters are zero okay so in that case sp dot length is greater than one first of all and sp dot carrot zero equal to zero so in that case what i will do i will be deleting that so sb dot carrot oh sorry sb dot delete carrot zero okay so that uh, zero index will be removed so like for this zero zero will be removed and after that uh, this condition will fail and i will come here and at last i will return so return sb dot to a string why because a string builder we have to return it into the string so a string builder to a string we can use this all right let's compile this i think this live coding feature helps a lot and i already explained it in a great manner as well so okay okay oh sorry i've taken this as integer what a foolish mistake character any other no okay let's try to compile this again meanwhile if you have loved the solution if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and let's hope it got accepted no okay uh, let's check what's the issue okay uh, the issue is if the k is equal to my on um, s dot length k is equal to s dot length in that case uh, we will be not having anything into the stack so we'll be just returning empty but we have to return zero so we can handle this case using if s dot length equal to k so we will return as zero okay something like this 
and uh, while I was testing this, I got one more issue. If we should not use this, it's taking long, much more time complexity. So we will just do sp dot append of ht dot pop. Okay. So instead of uh, inserting it at the zeroth index again and again, I will first of all insert all the at the last, and then we will do reverse. So sp equal to sp dot reverse. Reverse. Okay. All right. So now I think it should run. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Actually, I was I trying this also for the first time, so few issues came. But yeah, it's getting accepted now. Okay, all right. So yeah, that's it. I think it was a great explanation, a great problem as well. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed the session. So please comment down your feedbacks. Please subscribe the channel, and I am going to see you tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.